New logging, new ground to search. Gonna be doing some exploration today. You have a quartz carbonate vein running all the way up the waterfall up there and it's exposed up there. Runs all the way to the top. No mineralization, but interesting. Lots of porphyritic rocks, andesite, basalts, quartz carbonate, siltstone, few argillites. Area's just got a mess of rocks. Little patches here, all over, with oxidization, minor amounts of sulfides, nothing really to that. You have Jasper in contact. Don't think we're getting by this bridge here. Seems a uh, kind of unsafe, if you tell me. Looks like it's a no-go for uh, heading this way. So that ends this portion of the trip we'll head somewhere else and uh, take a look at another spot we had in mind we got exposed goss in this rock here snacks more oxidization goss in this rock We got a sulfide vein here with quartz. Very small, basically filling fracture. We'll catalog a sample from here. Scattered, disseminated sulfides in your Gaussian. All this up here, all Gaussian that's uh, fallen off. Lots of mineralization, mostly disseminated. This is a porphyritic andesite, but you got some volcanic tuff in there. You got uh, slightly mineralized and oxidized basalt here. You have quartz carbonate minerals cutting through in multiple spots. But uh, nothing intensely mineralized, just the occasional blob or speck of pyrite and calcopyrite.
few small epidote crystals in there. So a grab sample here from uh, logging road. So you can see you have quartz carbonate in there and you have a grayish substance. If you actually look at that under a jeweler's loop, all the gray is just a matrix of fine grained iron pyrite. You can see a few specks in there, but it's just super, super fine. There's a little bit better view. You can see all the sparkles in there. Okay, so we found our source for that last sample. The last sample was just a grab sample. We pulled off the side of the road. So you can see all in here, you have uh, some sulfides, decent amount. More oxidized rock right by this small little area with oxidization. Don't see too much of anything here other than a few sulfides, primarily iron pyrite. Okay, so we exposed a bit of it and basically what you have is iron pyrite which is forming in fractures, a little bit of disseminated pyrite in your uh, post rock but nothing that I think is too viable. few bits of oxidization up there looks like three veins of something so you got a small little vein there one here another there another one there minor amounts of pyrite forming in the contact that's all this is